Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I just want to do a very, very brief video here. I'm going to probably do another longer, better one later, but I wanted to uh, give a brief warning so far right now on Linux Tracker. So the new MX Linux 18.1 is out, and I wanted to come over here and download a copy of it. And when I landed here, it actually was redirecting me to some malicious websites. So if I look into my history and look at some recent history one of these that jumped up was uh, let me see if i can find the one so we had this one is just a random script that just popped up uh i think i have too many i think i looked into too many things before i pulled out other ones but uh so i got this one here i don't know what this uh place is i don't know some thing but this was a malicious redirect i've had about three or four of them so um, the other thing, of course, Linux Tracker, they might, um, I'm not completely sure if they advertise it anywhere, but these guys are using the crypto miners. This does appear to be something that they are aware of and they are using it. Uh, so this is basically if you visit this website, then the auth miners, uh, crypto miners are going to be using your computer and mining cryptocurrency utilizing your systems and as long as a website is open about that i'm generally okay with it now i have blocked that in my host file so if i actually pull up uh, my debugger it will actually find that there's going to be some scripts that can't seem to load um, and let's see if i can find which ones they were or not i'm not be able to find them right on short notice again um, but uh, you will find, if I dig through it, if I'm able to find it, there we are, that's the page I was looking for. You'll see this is the first one that triggered me up. It fails to load this because my host file blocks it. And then there's, uh, that one here does appear to be a code related to their website build. Not quite sure what this uh, pop.js is either, but there does seem to be a lot going on on the background. So I came here from the MX page. Uh, the MX Linux page is sending you over to uh, this place here for your BitTorrent file, and uh, it's not really predictable. It's one of these things that it's, uh, it's like every few clicks, every time kind of thing you do. So this one here, I get it, and I can download the torrent file. Um, but uh, the one I actually I tried a couple times is moving over here to report a bug. Boom. Click on that link there to report a bug, and look at this. It just redirects me to random stuff. Of course, if I go back to the page, now I can click it just fine. That does seem to be a, a consistent malicious thing. Let me see if uh, Let me see if it does it again. So if I load this up, the evidence is this. You can see that if I try and type a proper title, I don't have this character type I should. So something is causing something goofy to go on on this page. Let's see if I can look into that. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to figure anything out. Um, but there is definitely something on this page. When I click on this guy right here, it's redirecting me to some malicious uh, place. So this is not the type of website that I'm thinking is good. So I'm going to tell you that if anybody is pushing you out to Linux Tracker, use a different link. There does seem to be some malicious code going on in this site, uh, be it redirects. Now, the first one that caused it, I haven't been able to find it again. Basically, if I try and reload the page consistently and uh, try and get this, I might get it again. But what it did is it redirected to a page that literally was trying to block software or install software. My browser blocked that, and then it gave you that other code. You try and leave the page, and it gives you the pop-ups and won't let you leave the page. And, uh, you know, that's really dangerous stuff. So anything, anything is going on Linux Tracker, stay off of it. Um, I would stay off this Linux Tracker, and I would encourage you, if you are devs, stop posting things to Linux Tracker. It does seem to be, um, there is, does seem to be some malicious code going on on the site. So uh, just a brief warning, uh, I would avoid this website. I personally am going to, um, and I'll be back a little bit later on tonight with a MX Linux video.